hi loves and welcome back to my channel floor the entrepreneur here and thank you very much for joining me today in today's video we're going to be discussing about the diaper business one of those videos that has been highly highly requested for so before the end of this short video kindly uh, watch until the end expect to learn how to start this business how much money you need to start where to get your products from and a few things that you need to consider as you start for you to make more money in this business so thank you very much for clicking and uh, if you're new here karibu sana and if you're not you know i love you so let's chat The diaper business is one of those businesses that the market has already been established. As long as watu wao wanazaliwa lazima diapers zitanunuliwa. So they come packed in bales, zinakujaga in bales. We have jumbo. Hizo bales zinakuwa gandani na jumbo. Jumbo ni kubwa kabisa ya wageni as you can see 5 has 56 pieces. It's the biggest. Yenye imepakiwa the biggest and then we have high count. High count ni kama hiyo unaona number 4 iko na 40, number 5 iko na 36 extra large and then we have low count. The small packet zenye zinakuwa zimepakiwa and then now we have pieces and you know no in pieces so if you want to start this business you need to know that you will be buying diapers in bills because if you buy them single single hiyo unajua utauzi wa like a retail person lakini ukinunua ikiwa bill unauzi wa na bei ya wholesale so so every time you want to buy something to resell always make sure you buy them na bei ya wholesale so let's start where do you start number one you need to get a good supplier or a good distributor or a good source for your diapers i have three uh, i have three options for you number one is the company's distributors people like molfix they have their distributors everywhere the good thing about them is that number one their prices are perfect number two they deliver to your shop for free and number three they mix for you well they will be able to mix them for you because diapers are packed according to sizes kuna small kuna medium kuna large na kuna extra large number 2 number 3 number 4 and number 5 and most people don't mix them kama wanunua bell moja ya large ni moja ya large kama ni moja ya medium ni moja ya medium but for them they are able to open and also mix for you so number 1 what i would advise because you have not opened yet na wanakuja kwa shop so that they can leave their contact what you need to do is to go to their websites or their official pages get their contacts call them and tell them to give you a number of the distributor wa hiyo area nyu because if i give you my na wata kusaidia they don't know each other so call them tell them to give you a contact number Number two, it's that wholesale shop near you. Iyo iku wapo kwa senta yenyu. So please make sure you go there. Ask how much they are selling the diapers wholesale. Wholesale diapers. Please make sure you ask them. And there are so many types of diapers. There are so many brands. We have Pampers Original. We have Snuggles. We have uh, Huggies. We have Nip Nap. We have Kiss Kids. We have Molfix Soft Care. Izo zote ni diapers. Okay, but I am only showing you what I sell. Molfix Soft Care na Pretty Baby CJ Display. Because those are the first moving right now those are the ones that i'm comfortable selling and once you go there to that wholesale shop make sure you ask them if they mix bell kama wana mix na pia kama wana deliver those are two very very important things that you need to ask all right number three i have a plug for you through um uh, mega wholesalers they are located in isili check their website if you can be able to visit them they also deliver and their prices are fair so once you get a good source for your diapers you need to go and do a search in the place where you want to set up your shop and ulizia ulizia angali liangalizo shop ziku wapo kama zinauza diapers ziangalishe tu wapo enda uchungule uone ask them how much they are selling their diapers kama unanunua zifanya ni kama unanunua that uh, supermarket that's there go do your research angalia wanauza how much and then uende uangali hapo area the shops zenye ziku wapo then go home and check your do your calculation angalia if they are selling them in wholesale like this ni chukue even ni uze if, if can be able kama super wanauza so saba ni uze 680 i know i'll get clients but with that money that i will make be able to to sustain me will it be able to pay for the rent il pe mtuntaandika na inipatia kitu kidogo if the answer is yes then go pay for the deposit for that rent and partition do you see how i have partitioned my shop uh this is how you set up you need to buy mbao and you need to buy MDF. Hizi ni MDF nimetumia na chuma za kushikilia nilishika uh, fundi alishika na mbao. That's why it's very neat. But then you need if you cannot be able to afford MDF to mia mbao ya kawaida but MDF is neater. It makes the place look very neat, very nice. Na pia display yake ina kafiti sana. So go display MDF sai I don't know how much inatoka. Please go check kwa nini na pia kuna fundi. So set aside around 15,000 for that. For fundi uh, partitioning depending on the size of the shop yangu ili 
imezaga around 30000 because ni kombaka na ni kombaka na place ya inaitwa nini ni kona counter ili imezaga around 25k 25k alafu ni current ni kalipa rent na deposit so when we come to stock if you want to stock up uh, number one, diaper has itajaza shop yako you need to set aside around 17000 for diapers start with kidogo especially for the first moving depending on the place where you are setting up your shop angalia nini itaenda the moment umefungua watu wakiona unauza diapers they will come to they will start coming to inquire what the inquire is what you bring but firstly make sure you have like one bale of molfix high count one bale of molfix low count uko na jumbo kadhaa soft care uko na bale moja high count low count na jumbo kadhaa na pia uko na kitu kama pretty baby because pretty baby is a bit cheap right now diapers are very expensive kama soft care moja pack moja inaingia na 570 so 570 times 6 Molfix moja inaingia na 675 675 times 4 hiyo ni bale moja and then jumbo ina kama na 60 moja ya Molfix so you need to do your calculation depending on the prices that they will tell you they are selling once you do that you come and set up unafaa kuongeza vitu kadhaa for you to make it there diapers peke yake hazitafanya ufungue hiyo shop forever because once someone buys hiyo diaper moja hiyo packet kubwa when when else will you see him diaper ikiisha so you need to keep them coming at your shop all the time so you need to set up make sure you sell some toys go to kamukunji and leave a contact ya boni one of the guys that are buying my toys at they are very affordable go there buy some toys to dolly to guitar to gari to dogo ivo hizo vitu go buy them make sure you sell candies also is it sweet zawa toy can this sun top to juice to dogo to dogo if you, if you can be able to make uh, zinita guaje zile ice cream pops if you can be able to make ice pops make excuse me tago ice pops make sure you buy things that are going to make money for you vitu kama balloons na yega na 2.5 bob unauza 10 shillings and they are sold they, they go like hot cake so make sure you sell them make sure you buy crocs and sell crocs tafadhali don't open a baby shop without crocs apo inje Make sure you sell crocs, make sure you sell toys, mipira ya watoi. So, uh, set aside 20k for diapers because purposely you will be selling diapers that will be like the major, major and it will never disappoint you. Make sure you set aside like 10,000 for toys. Mi duka yangu meza toys, like 40,000 for toys. It, it Toys can harbor a lot of money but the beauty of it is that in Arudisha Gapesa poa sana, more than diapers actually. Make sure you set aside like 10k for toys. So 20, that is 30,000. And also make sure you have like 5,000 for crocs or 4,000. Start with around 20 or 30 pairs. Na zinarudisha more than 100%. Unachukua ka croc na 150, unakauza 250. You make 100 shillings. So make sure you sell crocs. Rubbers, um, pencils, you sell all these things. These are, these are what? These are bubbles for kids to... To, to to colorful buses and cars these are very 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 affordable likiangalia receipt yangu jioni yenye nimetumiwa nione tumeuza tu gari especially like these ones tumeuza kamoja tumeuza kabasi kamoja umbrella moja balls mbili crocs pia mbili i am i smile a lot because i know i've made quite a good amount of money so make sure you do that uh, and also i have a very good plug for you for toiletries make sure you watch a video that i will upload tomorrow uh, for for tissues kitchen towels na serviettes pia hizo zinakuaga poa sana they keep the clients coming if you can also be able to sell airtime make sure you stock airtime hainaga pesa but it makes people come it makes people come so number one you need to get a good source for your diapers number two you need to get a good location do your research at the place where you want to set up the shop and also pay for the rent and partition number three you need to start selling diapers but don't buy all diapers make sure you buy a few zanya zinaitishwa sana is on donor stock make sure you diversify make sure you sell other things come out sell na vitu za mali mali make sure you put them there if you're going to sell toys na crocs na chupa za maji za watoi make sure you stock those things don't sell diapers peke yake because if you do that you'll not make enough money to pay your rent and also to sustain you the reason why we start a business is to make money for ourselves sick after two pesa ya rent you know there are people mwenye hata wiki mwezi inaisha bado anatafuta pesa ya rent i have a rule myself week 1 ya kutafuta pesa ya rent week 2 natafuta pesa ya my employee week 3 natafuta pesa yangu week 4 i the 60% that i make in week 4 ni ya biashara 40% ni yangu that 60% is what i use to introduce new things to the shop the reason why i'm not showing you the other side of my shop is because ina kwa chuma za mpesa so you need to see that growth in your business it doesn't matter where you start what matters is that picture that you have for your business what you want to 
build. Start with what you have and grow now when the purpose to be there. That picture that is in your head, tengeneza yo. I wanted to mention that Kamukunji kuna diapers, retail market, uh, OTC, na pia yo stretch ya kwenda ya makema. But then the prices there, na zanyo na uziwa na distributors, na wasewa wholesale lapo near you. The, the prices are the same. And considering you will incur a cost of transportation, uki and there, Nairobi, I would recommend you buy your diapers from that wholesale shop. Ama distributors. Also, you can open number four na number five. That is medium and large and sell uh, diapers to people in pieces. So, uzie pieces. Mkwa kita kambili, muzie, tatu, muzie. This business, you can start with around 60, 70,000. And it's a business that can give you 1,000 shillings, 2,500 shillings a day as profit. I know because I am doing it. It's one of those businesses that you can never go wrong with. Okay, so please start. 60K, at least 15,000 ununwe diapers. Za kuanza 10K, yende kwa toys. 5K, yende kwa kwa toiletries 4k yende kwa crocs i love pia vitu vingine kidogo kidogo make sure rent ni less than 10000 the lower the better all right if you cannot be able to make your rent week one that is not a business that is worth your time so make sure you start uh, think about it let me know if you have more queries come to the comment section i hope you have learned a thing or two and let me know what you think okay i love you and may god bless the work of your hands bye bye Mwah.